Bro, this shit is wild. Wicked, bro. I'm here. Holy shit. All right, man. Yo, what's good? I know, you know, this video, looking at the title, y'all know I'm here, but, you know, I've been gone for a week. Don't start, bro. Don't start, bro. I've been gone for a week. Um, I was intended to drop videos, like, all week. I'm not gonna lie. We, I have some bangers on the way, though. We got some bangers on the way. But I've been gone for a week. Um, I was in a mental hospital. Yeah, I never thought those words were gonna be. <laughs> I never thought those words were gonna come out of my mouth. Holy shit. I was in a mental hospital for seven days. I was gone from home for nine days. No, it's not nine. I left at... I left Saturday night at 9 p.m. and got home around 7.30, I'm guessing. Bro, <laughs> 7.30 Sunday, the next Sunday. Bro, when I tell you it has been a long, long week, right? First off, before we even get into my situation, bro, as soon as I leave home, Kendrick and Drake start start you know going back and forth bro y'all wait till i y'all wait till i all right bro all right bro i got so much shit to catch up on bro intentionally right this sunday the last sunday right i had night of consumers being edited you know what i'm saying i had night of consumers. yeah actually let me just backtrack in my head right okay so I recorded a bunch of videos, right? Not really a bunch, but a, a couple for the weekend, right? And I was wondering where I was going to take it from there. Bro, so of course, y'all seen on Saturday? Y'all seen on last Saturday, not, not yesterday, but last Saturday, that I dropped Pineapple on Pizza. That same night, I played Night of the Consumer. What? Holy sh! That same night I played Night of the Consumers and I was gonna upload it that Sunday. Well, well, of course, y'all know I go to work. Some of y'all stream know where I used to work at, and I went there and clocked in, and everything was good until it wasn't. Everything was good until it wasn't, and then, oh, bro, bro, it shit got dark quick. I won't say anything. You know too specific but you know there was thoughts of a there was thoughts of an attempt and the first thing i did was text my mom and she told me to go to the er so i went went to the er expected to just go in there and talk to someone really get to you know the bottom of my issues and then that turned into a thing called 1013 I don't know if this is just like a Georgia code or some something that's nationwide, but a 1013 means I was not even legally bound to myself, right? I had no laws, basically. I was in endangerment to myself, as the, os the hospital said, and I had no legal balance to myself. Not gonna lie, that just made me feel worse. It just made me feel worse, and I stayed in my local hospital at home, for over 20 hours, I had no phone, no computer, no anything. So I couldn't even, like, attempt to do shit. Right? <laughs> I can, like, I can do, like, sh anything. Like, no entertainment, nothing. All I had was a bed, bro. But my mom and dad stuck it out with me. For the most part, you know, they had to go home, get their sleep and shower, you know what I'm saying? I was sitting there for 20 hours, no shower, bro. Nothing, bro. I had nothing, bro. And then uh, my auntie was the last person I saw before I went to the mental hospital. Now, the transport there, you either go on an ambulance. That's if you have insurance. And if you don't have insurance, you go on the back of a sheriff's vehicle all the way to the mental hospital that you got accepted to. Now, I don't have insurance. Right? So I got in the cop car. So yes, of course, I was in handcuffs. Did that make me feel better about the situation? No, it didn't. It didn't it didn't at all. I I, I was pissed the fuck off because I was in a cop car, right? So I was an hour and thirty minutes away from home. 
at a mental hospital. I thought I was going to hate just being there and everything about it. But this week has honestly been one of the greatest weeks in my life simply because there's just, there's so much shit that happened in that mental hospital, right? Now, there's people that I don't like. There's one particular person that I do not wish to see ever again in my life. But I made friends because we were all fucked up as well, right? And the journey while I was there was fucking crazy. From the first day to the last day there, insane, right? Um, I shared a room with somebody throughout the entire week. Um, pretty much that's like I pretty much went there saw shit and you know <laughs> you know I basically lived life until I got out bro now it wasn't like just like padded rooms and you know what I'm saying I'm, it, I wasn't in a fucking psych ward but we got to do some pretty cool shit I got to meet with I had I got to meet some pretty cool people that was all having issues as well. And um you know, we got to play basketball. There's a koi pond. I didn't really like the koi pond. Well, it was hot as fuck. So like I had I didn't really get to enjoy the koi pond because there's a there's nothing but sun over there. But the main thing I enjoyed was, you know, playing basketball with the guys and meeting people there that was out fucking standing, bro. And, you know, it's it's kind of cool, bro. It was kind of cool, bro. My experience was there was, like, not the worst experience. I thought I was going to fucking hate it. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have my phone. I didn't have, you know, you guys to talk to. Like, I didn't have shit, and I still had fun. That's crazy. So the people I met there, um, if we ever cross paths with each other, bro, y'all know what we talked about. Hey, y'all, y- y'all know, bro. We out here, bro. But... I'm here also just to say, bro, we're back in business, baby, bro. I'm so, I was so mentally focused throughout the entire time that I was there. I'm just back home and we're ready to go, bro. I just bought some new games for the channel. I'm about to edit Night at the Consumer so I can put that out for y'all. And, um, yeah, dude, I'm about to, I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? It's about to be a roll of steam right here, baby. It's about to be a really thing right here, baby. So, uh, yeah, y'all better be ready because I'm going to be ready. Thank y'all for letting me be a part of your day and a part of your lives. But now I must go. Till y'all see y'all again. Keep it three up, baby.